All right, guys, um, welcome again. Let me just show you a quick breakdown of Bitcoin um, trade. I analyzed some weeks back, all right? So, so my screen, you have Bitcoin USD. I've only said it that you want to ensure you are starting your um, analysis from the hard time frame. Then before you can go down to the correlating time frame to get entry. So I think upper week or two weeks back, I made this analysis. Bitcoin has been super bullish. So I knew we we're coming to take out this high because that was the draw on liquidity, okay? We're coming to take that high. Immediately that high was captured and I saw price retracing. I wanted to know what price was going to do on a much lower time frame. So from the weekly, I scaled down to the four hours and I saw an interesting setup, okay? I saw this, how that after price took out the high, this was the previous drawn liquidity, All right? Price rallied and created this structural point and then created this high. So I was anticipating that price should return back to probably this last candle, which is the other block. Then from there, we can start looking for reaccumulation to join and take price to the next draw on liquidity. Okay, so I had that mark, that mark up. This was it. You can see the four hours, how the price created this liquidity zone gave us this break. So we had this drawn liquidity, we had this new valid low. Okay, so I was anticipating price to take out this internal liquidity, come into this zone, give us that accumulation schematics to take price to the upside. So that was the same um, internal liquidity spotted there. So I needed price to come lower. Price was here. As at, I think, March um, 17, yeah, March 17. So price came all the way to this side and gave that schematics here. Okay, like for those of you that have been on this channel for a long time, you know that from the four hours, I love to scale down to the one hour and 30 minutes to look out for entry. So let's go to the one hour and 30 minutes and see. So this is the one hour price clearly came, took out that internal liquidity or the inducement, came into this last one hour order block. The one, this was the order block, this last bearish candle was the order block. So I had my eyes here. I had my eyes here that let's see what price you do when price return to this, all of this zone. So that was the zone. Price came beautifully into the zone. And when price comes here, I want to see that break in market structure, a confirmation entry to the upside. So price came, gave this push, this, gave this, and we had all of this low. So we had this final low, I was anticipating that, all right, let price give us a close above this zone, okay, this last structural zone. And that's exactly what happened. Price came, gave us a close above this, then I was looking for a retracement back to get entry. So that was it, price gave us that confirmation entry. Then I was looking at this last order block because this was the last order block that led to the break in market structure. So coming to that zone, I wanted to see at least a 15 minutes give me that confirmation entry. It's possible to just set my entry on this other block and then price start pushing higher. But um, many a times I want to see that 15 minutes accumulation here, all right? If you've been following me for quite a long time, you know that I love seeing that um, accumulation 
on the 15 minutes after spotting a one hour break in market structure. So that was it. Price came, gave us all of this push to the downside. You can see how the price created this high. This high was created. Price came, gave us this low. And before this low was created, we had all of this structural zone. This was a structural zone. You can see the body. So I need the price to come and close above it. Price rallied and closed above it beautifully. That was my confirmation. Then when price did that, I just want to look towards the last. Since there was no fair value gap, I was looking at this last candle. Okay. That was what I was looking at. So the entry was on this last candle. You can see how that price came in tapped into that other block because this is the last bearish candle that took liquidity and then led to a break of structure following our model. So right now, price has given us almost a one to 10. Yeah, price has given a one to 10 already. And this is where price is coming to because this is the next draw on liquidity. I was expecting that price should capture. Okay. So this is one to 10 to where we are right now. And price is still bullish. So we, we want price to just keep pushing her. That'll give us like a one to 13. So if you are new to this channel, it's to be fine if you um, subscribe and keep following. Drop your questions in the comments section let me know your thoughts on the analysis let me know what you are looking out for i can also or you can also let me know your projection for bitcoin in the next few days we are already above seventy thousand. all right we are already above seventy thousand. so from the comment section let me know your thoughts and your projection for bitcoin if you have not subscribed why not go ahead hit the subscribe button Ensure to turn the notification bell icon on so that you can be notified when I drop such amazing content. And I'll be dropping the Signal Group link in the comment section as well. You are not in the Signal Group. Here I post my personal traits and signal. You can do well to join. Thank you, guys. Peace out.